Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Mad Realms Vote to Kick. I'm your host, Jim, and with me again is Aaron. How you doing, hey buddy? What's up, everybody? I'm ready. Prepared. You're, you're, you're prepared? Okay. Yes. So, this week we're talking about multiboxing, and um, this actually all started a little bit earlier in the week when... Aaron and I were having a great big old conversation about multiboxing in Guild Wars 2. I'm going to throw a link to his original tweet into chat, and it'll be in the description on YouTube for everybody to take a look at. Um, uh, it was a time, um, but before that, you're probably wondering, Jim, what was the result of the Fallout 76 vote kick? And well, the answer to that is, I'm not going to tell you yet, because schedule conflicts and just craziness i haven't had a chance to post it to youtube yet so i don't feel comfortable closing a poll when it was just the live audience that got to view it so i'm gonna get that out i'm gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that 76 is getting kicked uh not by as wide a margin as you would think hey i voted keep yeah but that's because you're a fallout fan so but there's a lot to, i don't even play it there's a lot to like about it anyway anyway but with uh, everything going on, um, the reason that this all picked up is in multiboxing, Guild Wars 2 clarified their policy on multiboxing, where I believe that the general specifications are it can only be done in PvE areas, accounts must be attended at all times, and one action equals uh, one input equals one action on one account. So you can't use macros or multi-input tools at all. Mm -hmm. And you're, the, some people might also be wondering, Jim, what the hell is multi-boxing? That's well, um, usually in MMOs, uh, you play multiple accounts at the same time. That's about it. So yeah. in standard format, I will kick it over to Aaron. Now, Fenris kind of turned it on its head. He kicked it back to me, so that is now an option on the table. Ah, I gotcha. So if you want to roll your option, I'm assuming you're going kick here, because I, I, uh, yeah. I don't even think we even clarified that before. I think I just assumed. So Yeah, I am. After you. All right, well, my the main my main argument for um, kicking multiboxing from the MMO gaming spectrum is that it is cheating. That's that's my whole argument. It it's cheating. It's cheating. Yeah. How? Uh, you are fundamentally undermining the established reward structure of how the game is supposed to be played. The game is not balanced for you to be playing three accounts. The game is not balanced for you to be attaining three times the normal amount of daily rewards and funneling them all back to one account, right? That's um, that's not how you're supposed to do it. That's not how the content is intended to be experienced. It's cheating. Okay. Is, is, yeah. is that the, the gist of it there? Yeah. I think it's... I genuinely think it's that simple. I don't really see, like... I don't see how you can how it can get more complicated. Okay. Um, so my 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 question there is, uh, how is it different than, say, it's it's a person running two accounts? How is it different from two people running accounts separately and funneling all of the resources into one account? It's not, but you need another person to do that, and you need them to consent to sending you those rewards to do so. Um, if you have someone like that, congratulations. Um, but being able to do it all yourself is one less... Um, it, you don't have to interact with, uh, with multiplayer gameplay to do that. I think the idea behind a multiplayer game is if you want to share resources with somebody, okay, right, you're both playing. It's fine. But if you're going to log in at the same, like, and to clarify my point, I mostly have an issue with playing these accounts at the same time. Um, if you're going to log into one account and do a thing and then log off and then log into another account and do a thing, I think that's more fair. 
but doing something at the same time on two accounts simultaneously exponentially increases the amounts of rewards you're getting for the same amount of time input. And I, I don't think that's fair to reward structure. Okay. Um, now, I suppose that would mean it kicks over to me for keep, huh? Okay. Um, now, explicit, specifically, I I want to talk about the, the one thing that Arena and it clarified in their policy where it is one input equals one action on one account. And I'm going to cause Aaron's eyes to roll into the back of his head and he's going to forget like the next two minutes of conversation because I'm going to talk about my wow days again. <sighs> there was a shaman on my server when I started playing and he had five accounts and every shaman was named Instagib. And the last letter was A-E-I-O-U. Mm -hmm. And the way he had it set up is I know he was using a single mouse and keyboard that multi-inputted to either he had computers stacked next to him or it was running into virtual machines and they would run five abreast. Every input would do the same thing on every character. Okay, I mean, but that's a violation of TOS, right? Not for World of Warcraft, it wasn't. I. It's like... So, so here's my question to you. Would you consider that not cheating in WoW, but cheating in Guild Wars 2 simply because of the difference in TOS? It would be breaking the TOS in Guild Wars 2. Yeah. Which and it is... would be a bannable offense. Which... It's, it's one of those things where I look at it as... Are you doing more than what one person normally would be capable of doing? Yes. However, with the one account or one input, one action, one account tag, and honestly, I think Guild Wars 2's ruling is probably the best ruling on everything, on multiboxing that I've ever seen in an MMO. I think it's far too lenient. I, I get there. Um, cause uh, there's a reason I think, um, generally speaking, it's, it's disallowed in PVE. I would imagine that trying to do raids and fractals, which are technically PVE. So technically multi-boxing is permitted there. Trying to do raids and fractals with one account or one input, one account, one character restrictions i don't think that's possible there are parts of fractals i think that like a uh, uncategorized where you're running up the the ramp dodging the the lightning fields as they come down at you uh that is somewhere where i think a multi-boxer would be more successful but at the same time can, but... can you imagine doing uh Old Tom, while trying to multi-box a five-man team? Okay, but just because multi-boxing isn't a viable strategy in one part of the gameplay doesn't mean it's not completely exploitable in another area. Right. All and, it takes is one area for it to be considered cheating. Right, and see, that's the thing, is cheating is, is subjective to a game and to a mode, even. I would say if you're actively undermining reward structure... You're cheating. See, that's the thing. That's I'm, also... Like, I don't see an argument against that. I really don't. I don't see how you can argue against that. I, and that, that comes to the second part is, you know, you mentioned undermining reward structure. And it's... Do I think it's kind of bunk? Yeah. I agree. It's kind of bunk. I hated... I hate the, the map jumping... Like, people would jump from map to map in Auric Basin to try and multi-complete Octavine. I thought that was stupid. Uh, I mm -hmm. Any kind of gaming of the system I thought was dumb. Like, the stupid train that would roll around so you'd get credit for all four Octavines. And you said the, uh, you said the magic words there. Gaming of the system. Right. I think that's exactly what multiboxing is. It is. With DOS. 100%. It is. It is 100% gaming the system. And I think gaming the system is cheating. 
technically. I, I tend to agree. Uh, my, my keep really comes from... I wouldn't want to explicitly disallow it because it allows for interesting community content to be available. It also, and I know we, uh, and you and me discussed this privately in a Twitter thread. There's a common argument that, oh, it sells boxes, so they let it happen, right? And I think you and I both agreed that, like, yes, but the amount of people buying accounts just to right. multi-box is probably a negligible amount of money. It, it, it is. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say less than 5%, uh, maybe oh, less oh, than yeah. 1%. Of yeah, the, yeah. The populace it's a, of a, a given MMO is it buying is a sub boxes. percentage. Yeah, and it honestly, people buying multiple Guild Wars two boxes, I guarantee you, most of them have a level one character that logs on, gets the the daily login rewards, does something to convert it to tradable currency, and sends it to their main account. Oh yeah, for sure. And like, would you think that? In World of Warcraft, multi-boxing would be more lucrative for Blizzard because of the sub fee. Hundred percent. Yeah, because you have to pay for that subscription. Well, not so much anymore because, like, back in the day when it was just you, you had a sub fee and that was it. Mm. Yeah, but now that there's WoW tokens where you can pay gold to buy a token for a month of time, multi-boxing means that you can earn more gold to buy more tokens to buy more time so it mm. kind of undermines it honestly i think the only reason instagive existed is because at the time uh elemental shamans were kind of busted and it was a pvp server mm -hmm. so he goes out on his own and he's not really on his own yeah mm -hmm. but and that's well because you and i know um we know a guy who multi-boxes uh, robot adventures he's a multi-boxer However, this is a this is an amazing man, first of all. But this is a man who plays multiple accounts at the same time, but they're completely separate. He just plays his separate accounts. He doesn't trade rewards, anything like that. He just like, yeah, I like playing two accounts. I don't know. I don't have a problem with doing it for that purpose. But when you start using it for the purpose of exploiting something allowable under TOS to actively circumvent limitations placed on reward structure within the game, that's where it bothers me personally uh, um, on the front of like what you've accomplished in the game. Right. And when you do it in way, because like you brought up like, oh, you couldn't raid multibox. And of course you can't, you can't 10 mana raid by yourself. Right. Nobody has the appendage dexterity for such a thing, but just the simple act of collecting and every game has daily stuff that you can do. Right. Just the simple act of collecting daily credit for things simultaneously in the same time frame it would generally take one account to do it. To me is gamey and hacky. And I wish people couldn't do it. That's uh that's basically where I'm coming from. Honestly, there was a point in, um I was building Predator. Uh, I'm working on the first step for the legendary rifle, and uh I was in ore. <laughs> And I'm wondering, there's like a pile of rangers and necromancers just kind of standing somewhere. And then I find out that they're just all AFK. They're all minion mancers, and they're farming yeah. while AFK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because, uh, compared to most other MMOs in Guild Wars 2, if your pet kills something, you still get full credit for it. You mm -hmm. don't have to attack it. Because mm -hmm. that was one of the things that they did in World of Warcraft for hunters, is if your pet kills something by itself you don't get loot or experience for it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, There's also um, another MMO that I consider that I consider multi-boxing a huge issue in that the developers are just totally cool with. And that would be, and I brought it up before, RuneScape. Um, RuneScape is a very afk game to begin with, right? So you can literally have multiple clients open doing multiple action you could play efficiently probably up to three accounts one person on runescape with no botting or anything um and uh and people do it right and you can trade you can trade between accounts easily you just open a trade window um and uh that's totally fine in runescape it's totally fine nobody cares um i don't think you should be able to do that i don't know i think it should be um i think i think i guess my issue is 
partly with sharing rewards between accounts, but also at the same time, my issue with the multi-boxing is that you get triple, you could get double or triple the rewards for the same time invested as somebody playing a single account, honestly. And that's kind of what it boils down to is the combination of those two things um, makes it a circumvention in my opinion. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Like I, it, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not the worst and, and, Oh, uh, Josh, I would say having multiple accounts for login rewards, that's not multi-boxing. That's, multi-boxing no. is playing multiple accounts at the same time. Yeah, I like, think, well, and that's what I'm trying to focus on, is just at the same time. Because as long as you can trade between accounts, you're never going to stop people from making multiple accounts to log rewards, yeah. right? It's not going to happen. The reason I don't mind it so much, like, I think I still think it's a little hacky to, like, have, because there's a, there's a guy that comes to my Twitch stream who has 35 Guild Wars 2 accounts. Oh, so that's who you were referencing every single yeah. time you said the 30 I know accounts. this person. I okay. know this person. He does not play them all at the same time. I would imagine, because um, that would be ridiculous. Impossible, yeah. yeah. You would have to buy it. But um, this person logs in to 35 accounts a day, gets his dailies done for the two gold, and does all of, and gets his login reward, and he funnels it all to his main account. Yeah. And this person makes... 2000 gold a month doing that and yep. like i can't say that you can't do that right but at the same time the part of the like tried and true lawful good part of my brain is like no <laughs> you know yeah. and it's like i can't say you can't do that but man that's hacky Man, that's hacky. You're not wrong. Um, one of the guys I, I'm friends with, he uh, has enough accounts that he can make a... Uh... Can can the blender be heard? Um, yeah, it is. I mean, it's over now. Okay. Um, yeah, it was, like a, it was like a grenade going off real quick. Yeah, I apologize for that. Uh, the um, He has enough accounts where he can make a legendary every 28 days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, and I Hold find that. I blame right. that. Oh, gotcha. I mean, just to talk to just to talk to chat and the viewers, um, I hold the company more responsible for loopholes like that than the player. Like, if that loophole is available, of course they're going to do it, right? Like, um, I was literally just saying how I hold the company more responsible for that than the player, because it's like if that loophole exists, of course people are gonna do it right yeah you can't trust everybody to think the same way i do right nobody does well, my me personally i honest like i could i've gotten a lot of skins that i could have sold for a bunch of gold but i like adding them to my account for the mm -hmm. simple fact that that's my one account um i was messing around with that mobile game on my phone before the show uh there are people who will constantly create new accounts to get better luck with getting new units yeah. in that game. And then if they get a good roll, they'll stick with that account as their main. But I'm sitting there like, isn't it more fun to try and build up a single account? Yeah, the, and that's... I mean, I hate that's, pulling... That's like, fun, oh, the game's so. more fun. Like, that's such a champion way to put it, right? Like, oh, I'm at least I'm having fun. You know, like, that's what all the poor players say. Whereas, but... to, like, <laughs> honestly... I, I want to say, like, I think back to Instagib, and as an IT professional, he probably had fun setting up the macros to run five accounts at the same time. Probably, yeah. And everybody's definitely, like, because when I talk to this viewer who comes to my stream about this stuff, he's like, well, what I enjoy in games is trying to find how to make the most money the quickest, right? And that's his fun, right? Mm -hmm. My fun is being terrible, <laughs> you know, like... So I, I hate to boil it down to fun because everyone's idea, like these people wouldn't do that if that's not what they wanted to do, right? Um, which is, it kind of boils down to what I, my original tweet that started this whole thing off is I tweeted at Guild Wars 2 and I said, why isn't multi-boxing against TOS? That was the tweet, right? I didn't like condemn the players doing it. I was just like, why isn't it against TOS? And I guess the simple fact of it is it's just a lot of people do it. Um, it 
and it's hard to police. A lot of people do it, and it's hard to police. And that's yeah. more or less it. And that's that's one of those things where um, I look at where they say, you know, it's only available in PvE. Uh, if it is limited to PvE, the harm that it can do to the game is mitigated. Mm -hmm. And... It, it, like that was one of my arguments in the in the Twitter thread is that like what harm does it do to someone? And I realized like I agree that it's it's not like it's kind of hacky. It's it's a little cheaty. I wouldn't call it directly cheating. It's not some kind of exploit. It's just a loophole in the system that can't really be closed. I would say it is an exploit. You're exploiting what ArenaNet allows. Um, but again. If it's allowed, it's allowed, right? But it's, in a limited to PvE sense, it's less damaging. Because then if people are, like, screwing with the economy, there are other ways that, you know, a game can affect it. Like, there are yeah. other ways game developers can respond to it. Um, the other bit is policing it, like pulling a full-on crackdown on no multi-boxing period, you can only ever have one account. How do you trace that? Like, do you? I mean, IP, you, you start with IP address. You can't really do it past that. Right. Well, there you can actually do hardware bans where you scan the computer and that mm -hmm. configuration is banned. So basically someone would have to log on to a completely different computer. So they'd have mm -hmm. to have two computers sitting side by side. But at that point, you know, you, you get a, an account ban and somebody's just like, that's my insert relative here playing mm -hmm. i don't so, know you can just have a policy where you never overturn bans and <laughs> but that's going way too far to address yeah. an issue that like you said doesn't really affect much exactly apart from, apart from my my pride <laughs> it's it's a it's a con it's a and, and that's that's the level of issue here is that it's it can cause a huge problem with income disparity where game like MMO game economies, this is something that's been blowing up with Fallout 76 now because someone got access to the developer room and with the dupe bug that's in it, like there that are game. there are items that don't exist in the game legitimately yet that are being duped and sold on eBay. Oh my god, that game. What a train what a glorious train wreck. Yeah. So <laughs> It's it's not like a, a, a multiplayer game, an MMORPG specifically, lives or dies by its economy. If the economy sucks, it's going to be really hard for people to play it at endgame. Because mm -hmm. it gets to a point where you have to rely on other players at least a little bit to get some of the stuff you need. Yeah. So, that's an issue there. Um the, the one thing that I do have a problem with is this sentiment that it sells copies so bad thing is okay or bad thing won't be stopped. Yeah, no, I, I don't think really, they care about that so much. Well, I really hate how reductive that reasoning is. Mm -hmm. the, the But it sells boxes. One, a lot of those but it sells boxes arguments, like we're talking about multi-boxing, it's just like how many people actually buy multiple accounts to multi-box how many people do it just for the login rewards which yeah only probably only players in the top 10 percent of um like hours played and then probably most of them aren't buying more than one extra account right and honestly i think that's mostly just for the bags of mystic coins at this point and they'll for also the usually only do it when it's on sale yeah. So you, like um I know uh, Josh in the chat he buys new accounts when um it's on when it's on sale and that's it. Also fun fact guys Guild Wars 2 is always on sale on Amazon. It's $15 every time. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> that and, you know, great loophole if you want a multi box. <laughs> and it's just a good game to play, you know. Hashtag not sponsored. Um Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess for me, it's just I, I I'm like I'm a one account kind of guy, and when I f see people 
or like, yeah, I don't know. I have 9,000 whatever currency in whatever game because I play six accounts at once. I'm just like, get out of here. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I guess I'm just old fashioned that way, guys. I guess I'm just old fashioned. Well, and that's that's the thing is like you're you're you and I are like the the ninety eight percent of the game. We're gonna have one yeah. account. I mean, there are some people who have thirty characters on an account. Yeah, and that you know, dude, if you want to, you know, I don't have a problem with that really, because you can't log multiple characters on the same account at the same time. So that doesn't bother me. Yeah, but I think that pretty much wraps it up. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's... I. I find it hacky, but what are you going to do, right? <laughs> How is having di- multiple accounts... T- well, I mean, you can have... Mul- well, I suppose that's one of those things where you have a character logged in explicitly to be at a certain place to press... to open a box once a day. Like, Because I know Again, people who it's... will leave their characters at the end of a jumping puzzle and then just grab that every day. Again, the focus is multi-boxing, which is playing multiple accounts at the same time. You can't play multiple characters from one account at the same time. So that's the fundamental difference that makes it a non-issue, in my opinion. Uh, I'll agree with that, Killian. Fuck EA. But um, the it sells boxes <laughs> thing, um, I've never heard a dev say it. I've yeah, only, I mean, I've only ever heard it. it. I've only ever heard it from people as a snide remark. As a, uh, you know, making fun of the devs, or is, this is allowed because it sells boxes, as, you know, deriding the developers or the publishers of a game. And I think it's a, a reductive argument that really shouldn't be used. To be fair, you'd never hear a game studio admit, yeah, no, we allow that because it sells. Like, you'd never hear them admit that. But, like, legit, I think if you found the actual numbers on who buy, on, like, the sales of additional accounts per person... It's probably negligible in the yeah. in the grand scheme of sales. Uh, I I will say that I suppose it could affect the income of the game long term since there is a an in game currency to cash shop currency conversion, but they would have more numbers than we would ever have access to. So I'd imagine yeah. that since it's such a probably such a small percentage of people even doing it in the first place, I'd imagine they'd be able to react to it relatively quickly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I think, like, uh, if they were to ban it TOS-wise, right, IP would probably cover a lot of it. People who use a VPN, like you said, you could do that whole hardware scan thing. I don't know how legal that is. Oh, it's, it's totally legal. Hardware bans is it? are relatively common. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you could do something like that. But, like, I'm not entirely sure why they like what reasoning they have for a lot. Cause if I were a game developer, I'm not right. But if I were a game developer, I wouldn't want that in my game. Yeah. Like, I would want people playing fair and square. If it were my game that I was making. It's right? it, so I don't really know why they allow it. It's, and that's, that's one of the other things is, um, it's the fine line that you have to walk between how much time are you willing to invest in enforcing a rule and how enforceable that rule is. Like, yeah. like I was talking before about, you know, if you enforce the hardware bands, well, somebody could have two computers sitting next to each other, and it doesn't matter if their IP is the same. They can just be like, yeah, that's my brother playing. Yeah, true. But yeah, I just, I, I don't know. It seems like, and again, I don't, I don't do this for a living. You do, right? But it seems like it wouldn't be terribly hard to police, but I'm not in the chair, right? So... It's it, and well, that, that's the one thing I was saying about the effort is because if you start cracking down on it, how many more, how much time is that going to take investigating cases from the? You got to pay someone team? to do it, right? Because yeah. there there's a disciplinary team. Like it sounds weird to say that a video game has a disciplinary team, but that's usually what anybody investigating reports and enforcing bans does. Is yeah. then they have to devote their time to a relatively small problem in the player base because like we said, it's like the number of people who actually multi box is relatively small because of the technical requirements behind it. Cause yeah. that means you either need to have something that can serve up virtual machines that run different instances of the, the game, or you have to have a computer powerful enough to run multiple instances of the game at the same time. 
Also, don't you need to use an outside program to be able to run multiple instances of the same game at once? Uh, that depends on the game. Some games Okay. allow you to have multiple instances running at the same time. Some lock that out, and you actually have to have different computers running at the same time. Which, again, See, and is... I would, I would, that, that's shady to me. That's, once you start running it through an outside program to start running multiple instances, Well, I'm like, uh, that's, that's the thing with a virtual machine and with a program like Docker, which mm-hmm. is a, a virtual machine program, you can spin up multiple instances of a game of a, like, it's just virtual PCs. You can have 10, 20, 30 computers all running Guild Wars 2 at the same time. Your one stream viewer who has the 35 accounts could press a button and all of his accounts would log in simultaneously. Which would be a TOS violation, to be fair. Uh, not for starting the executable. Really? Did they explicitly say that in the... It's, it's not an action in-game. You're starting an executable. But if the login happens all at the same time, that would be within the game client. The If, launcher is part of the game. Launcher well, is absolutely part of the game. well, okay, so you, you click If all the your button. accounts log in at the same time, that's a TOS violation. Well, there are, um, I think we're just nitpicking now. a little bit. Uh, well, I think there are ways you can do command, like, um, if you go into the properties of a shortcut, you can put command line arguments after the executable runs. I think you can provide that with your login information. So you can literally just double click the icon and it will automatically have you logged in already. I See, could and be wrong. I've I've never opened command prompt, so I can't compete with this Well, it's, line. it's not command prompt. It's like you right click on the shortcut <laughs> and go to properties. gotcha. And then there's the target property and you can do more commands after the dot exe at the end. But that's getting more into the... the That might be me remembering Uh, my stuff from like World the extent of Warcraft. of my experience with that is typing a W for windowed mode. <laughs> Yeah, the the dash W. Yeah, no, I understand that one. Um, but it's it's one of those things where it's just like, eh. Then you're getting kind of into the nitpicky bits. You're right. Um, so it's you know it 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 is kind of unbalancing things, and if more and more people do it, it's a problem. But you've got the, you have to buy the game, so you have to either wait for um, a sale, or you just have to have the money to throw at the game, uh, versus, like, so you are literally at risk of destabilizing the game's economy by getting a lot more currency than you probably should, versus allowing it, and it remains a relatively niche thing that happens. Honestly, this is one of those things where I worry about it being more of a Streisand effect kind of thing, where calling too much attention to it will cause it to happen. Yeah, like it might be this thing that only a few people at the top are doing, and if they publicize it more, then, you know, you know, like whoever Mm -hmm. might just be like, oh, I could multi box my login rewards, right? You know, so yeah, it's. I just, I think you'd be hard pressed to find somebody who doesn't do it that doesn't think it's hacky. They're, they're probably out there, but the majority of players, I think, would look at that and go like, hmm, no, that's shady, right? Yeah, uh, that's like that's even looking at the, you know, getting multiple accounts to get the login rewards and then funneling that all to a single account. I look at that and I'm just like, I could, but honestly, half the time I forget to do my dailies, so... It just doesn't seem legitimate to me. I don't know. I know that's cheesy, but call me old-fashioned. Yeah, but... Like, Oh. no, that's all I had, really. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's... Uh... I have to admit, I really wasn't capable <laughs> of putting up much of a keep argument. Um, At the I'm... same time, though, since it doesn't, like... Um, I... Yeah. I mean, I didn't feel like I could put up much of an argument either, other than I think it's hacky. Like, that's what my whole thing comes down to. I think it's hacky. Yeah. It's like, does it really damage the economy? And does is it really cheating? And it's just like... it's It's getting down to... being technically correct, which Professor Yeah. Farnsworth <laughs> yeah. says Technically, is the best kind it's of not correct. cheating because you can do it. Yeah. Right? So... So, ladies and gentlemen, that is our episode of Vote to Kick on Multiboxing. It's not quite clear-cut down the middle of the road for 
this one, though I'm finding that every time we have these discussions, they're not usually all that clear cut. But hey, yeah, you always have the loot box episode. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Literally every single time I have Arlie on the show, she's just like, "You're gonna be in a corner the entire time." Yeah. But for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, vote on the poll. Uh, that a link will be in the description, and then let us know what you think about multi boxing in the comments. Uh, I look forward to hearing from all of you and how you. Uh, consider this and just i know we talked a lot about guild wars 2 centric stuff if you're from another mmo any mmo or any game where multi-boxing is a thing please just let us know what game you're coming from and what uh, it uh, the boon or bane you're dealing with for multi-boxing but i've been i want to hear from my terra online folks i have a terra account I yeah think. start get another <laughs> um Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Mad Realms Vote to Kick. I've been your host, Melthanis. You can find me on Twitter at MelthanisMMO. You can find me here on twitch.tv slash madrealms. That's two A's in the mad every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time for Vote to Kick, followed by Zero to Hero, our weekly Guild Wars 2 PvP shenanigans, though we're still in the off season, so I don't know if we're really going to PvP tonight. You can find my host, my guest, Aaron, on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, at Guild Wars Monk. I'll uh, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. Uh, I think you covered it. Sounds Instagram? Good. No, no, not that guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna take pictures of your Starbucks and sunsets and shit. Probably not. There are links to the Discord channel on my Twitter and Twitch page, so you can you can hit the Discord link. I hear they, those pages. I hear they have memes. Yeah, maybe too many. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh well. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out. I hope you have a fantastic evening, and we hope to see you here next time. Have a good night, everybody. See you guys.